What's up everybody, Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and we're going to continue our JavaScripting for Beginners tutorial. In this episode, in this lesson, we're going to cover game variables and game switches, how to use them in script calls, how to manipulate them and change their values. So the first thing we'll look at is the switches. So to control a game switch, uh, you'll do a dollar sign game capital S on switches, plural there, dot set capital V on value. The first number you put in the argument here, in the first argument you put the number of the switch you want to control, the actual number of the switch. To figure this number out, basically you can go to control switches and you'll see uh, a list right here with three dots and you can select uh, whatever switch you want and it doesn't really matter what you name it or what you call it what you're looking for is its location in memory which is basically this number right here when you're referencing a, a variable or a switch uh, you're not going to include any zeros so you will just call this one one this one two this one three and so forth and so on um, so now that we know we're going to control switch number one if we want to turn a switch on, we're going to have to set it to true because switches are Boolean values, and you'll hear this quite often. Boolean is 0 or 1, on or off, true or false. They just have two values. So you could actually put, I'm pretty sure you could put 1 right here, and that would set it to true. Um, but we're going to just say true. <clears throat> So dollar sign gain capital S and switches dot set capital V on value switch number one comma true. Close the parentheses and do an end line. That's going to turn the first switch on. So how you would turn the switch off, very similar. You just set the value of that same number to false. And it'll turn that boolean to a zero. And it'll turn off that switch. So uh, this event is turning off a switch. This event is turning on a switch. This event up here is going to be our checker. So all we're going to use this is just to check uh, to see if our code is working right. So I've got a conditional branch here that's checking if switch 1 is on and it also has an else branch. So if switch, is, switch 1 is on, it's just going to show a text and say switch 1 is on. Uh, on the else handler, well, since we know that it's a boolean and it can only be on or off, if it's not on, it's got to be off. So on the else handler, we're going to say switch 1 is off. At the end, no matter if the switch is on or off, it's going to tell us what the value of variable 1 is. If you want to check the value and, and have that uh, value be put into a show text, you're going to do a simple command, a forward slash v, and then open and close brackets, and then put the number of the uh, variable or switch that you want to, uh, to check. Uh, actually, variable only here. So we're going to do v for variable, bracket 1, since that's the variable we're going to be adding to and then uh, close the bracket. You don't need that period there, that's just for uh, aesthetics. Okay, in the bottom event, this is how you control variables. A little bit more complicated, but it's really easy actually. All we're doing is declaring a local variable, and a local variable is just a variable that variable that is only going to be used in this particular script call. So if we try to reference x someplace else outside of the script call you'll get an error saying undefined because it won't know it doesn't know what X is in this particular instance we're declaring that variable X is equal to this value so to control of the value to set a value of a variable um, uh, you can easily do it with this dollar sign game variables dot set value and then just put whatever number you want right there and it'll set it to that if you want to be able to control it uh, in multiple ways we can say x equals x uh, times 2 and then we can say x equals x divided by 1.5 and we can continue to manipulate this variable in as many ways as we want without having to do individual control variables. So it's kind of cool if you, there's a specific formula you want to follow, uh, you can manipulate your variable just like this. You can also use uh, plus plus x, that's going to add one to it. Um, so I'm not even sure what that's going to add up to, but uh, by default, all variables are going to be set to zero. So we can uh, check that this is going to be not zero when we look at it we know that these are doing things so what we're doing here is we're declaring a local variable x and we're saying it's the value of the game variables in the first position then we're controlling our temporary variable and now we're changing that temporary variable but that's not going to change the game variable at all we have to do one more thing we have to do a set value for the variable so we're going to do dollar sign game capital v on variables dot set capital v on values then with the first argument we're selecting that uh, variable we want to change or control in this case it's one we're going to put a comma and then we're going to type in whatever uh, we put for our uh, temporary variable 
variable and the name is completely arbitrary like I can do I I can say variable I is this I equals I plus this I equals and so forth and so on we can call it bananas we can call it beans it doesn't really matter what we call the variable as long as it's one word um, and if you want to separate it you can use camel case like ISS or IXZ or whatever you want to call it or you can even use underscores like you do in a lot of uh, GML and uh, other program languages but um, we'll leave it like that so we're gonna say we're changing the value of the first variable to whatever our local variable of I is our temporary variable so we're saying that this tempor temporary variable is this uh, value uh, by default so we're saying it's zero then we're saying it's gonna be zero plus ten so now it's ten now we're gonna go ten times two so it's going to be 20 and then we're going to go it's going to be 20 divided by 1.5 what is that uh 15 i i don't even know and then we're going to add one to it so maybe it'll be 16 i don't know we're going to find out and we're going to check our work with this one right here which i i already went over that okay so let's look at this in game So we've just uh, turned on a switch. So now it's going to say switch one is on. Variable is still zero. Let's turn off the switch. The switch one is off and the variable is still zero. We can turn the switch back on. Let's control our variable. Let's see what it actually turns into. So switch one is still on because we haven't done anything, but now it's 14. And if we do this again, switch one variable is now 33 because we're doing all of those multiplication, additions, plus plus. Uh, every time we talk to this, uh, we're running that script call turning off switch so basically that's how you control switches how you can uh, you know turn them on and off that's how you can manipulate variables in one script call so hopefully you guys found this video informative if you did like it please give it a thumbs up like favorite share subscribe all that good stuff it really helps the channel you guys are awesome thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next tutorial